Hi all. I want to talk about uh, another one of these potential gotchas when you're dealing with uh, C in uh, C input. Um, so here I have a real straightforward, simple program. Uh, you'll notice we have our standard include the uh, the I/O library. Uh, we uh, we have our int main, have an integer variable uh, named n and a character variable named c. Uh, then we simply have a statement for prompting the user for, to enter a number. We read in a value for n. Um, then we prompt for a character and we read in a value for c and simply print a message note, uh, letting us know that we were done. All right, so if I run this. It says uh, enter a number. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter 13. I hit enter. Um, notice it then says enter a character. Um, doesn't seem to stop and just says thanks and seems to be done. Um, let's try that again. So if I run this, this time I'm just going to pick uh, a single digit number. And again, the same type of behavior. All right. So let's see if we can't figure out what's going on. We'll add in another print statement. Um, and this time, all we're going to do is just print out what uh, what was entered. So we'll say that n is equal to um, that, and we'll print out the value of c. Okay, so uh, the value of the character um, essentially is this. And the other thing I'm actually going to add into this is I'm going to uh, add in uh, the ASCII value of the character as well. Okay, so we'll print out uh, n, we'll print out c, and c. Let's take a look at that then. Again, so we run this. Uh, let's try five this time. I hit enter and take a look. Again, it doesn't seem to stop for our character. It says you entered n equal to five. C is equal to, and notice what happened. We have a line break between the open single quote and the closing single quote, um, and an ASCII value of 10. If you take a look here, notice all we have in between those single quotes is the character itself. We don't, we haven't hard coded in um, a uh, a line field, uh, a new line character. We don't have the backslash n. Um, what's happening is that when the standard I/O library is reading, when we read in the number, it reads in um, digits. And when it sees the new line character, that's where it stops. Now here's where it gets interesting. What happens is it leaves the new line character in standard in, in the input stream. So it only pulls out the five digit and leaves that new line in. So then when we come in and say we want to read a character, the character that happens to be inside, uh, inside the input stream um, is the new line character. And that's why we're getting that behavior. Okay, so how do you get around this? Okay, so if you're having this problem, you're seeing um, you're seeing this type of thing. What you need to do is to clear out or to flush the input stream. Okay, so this is already built into C. Um, there is a function called fflush, um, and you'll notice basically it, it, it is essentially attended to uh, or or. Um, by the extra F on the front, sort of indicates that it was intended to work with a file, but we can make it work with standard in by simply using the std in identifier. Okay. Clear out standard input. Okay. So this will throw away anything that is still sitting inside the uh, inside standard in. All right. Let's try it now. So then we go ahead and run this. Um, actually, this time I'm just going to use a I'm going to use a much bigger number just to show you. All right. And now notice it actually pauses. Um, I can enter in some, in some character, let's say T, and now our program works the way that we had hoped originally. All right. So hopefully that helps you out, keeps you out of any trouble.